people out there have to know this. When we do interviews, because we've expanded, uh, when we do interviews to bring new people on our team, the first thing I do is I look when I sit across from that person I'm talking to, the person I'm interviewing, and I look in their eyes and I say, is this person a person with empathy? Is this the person I'm thinking about hiring? Do they have sympathy and empathy for other human beings? Yes. Because you have to in my office. Yes. And you can go to other law firms and it might not be this way, but I can tell you this, we do trainings at least on a monthly basis to talk about listening to the client, letting the client tell us what their problems are so we can understand better where they're coming from. Then we create solutions to their problems, talk to them about it and effectuate that change. Yes. Whether that's getting on the horn or calling the adjuster, whether it's the insurance company adjuster for your pain and suffering or the insurance company adjuster for your no fault benefits, we are here to pursue that thing for you vigorously, zealously. When, yes. I, when I became a lawyer, I, I said I'm gonna be a zealous representative of my clients and I take pride in that. So when you call me, I'm zealous about calling you back and my staff's the same way. If I can ever be of service to you, please contact me at 716-839-3939. Calmed right down because you explained everything right to the last letter. Contact Jed. That is exactly what we did. I've never known you to be anything but uh, upright and upstanding and, and ethical. I always uh, respected the way you approached a case and there was no other choice. You know, you were always gonna be our first choice. You were respectful toward us and I appreciated that so much. I said, who can I call to help me again? Jed Dietrich. And I called you and you handled that thing. I mean, you handled it. When you're suffering, to know someone is there for you. That means a lot, Jed. You came right to the house. You stand by your word. You're a real fighter. It was superb. Above and beyond, I would only trust Jed Dietrich. Oh, that was amazing. When I got a hold of you guys and you guys took care of everything, I knew that I was in good hands and people that I could trust. I didn't have to deal with the insurance company anymore. A weight off my shoulders. I just knew that it was going to be taken care of. That's someone who you should go for. The whole experience in general was amazing.
just it just felt right. You guys took that load off of me. What I didn't know, you guys filled me in, made me feel comfortable that all I had to do was focus on my recovery. Putting yourselves in my shoes, and I, and I really appreciated that. It's almost like I felt led to reach out to you. It's almost like I felt led to reach out to you. Contact Jed. Have you been injured as a result of someone else's negligence? Have you been injured as a result of a truck driving collision? Has a trucker injured you? If so, contact me at 716-839-3939. Jed Dietrich here from the Dietrich Law Firm. You can contact me at 716-839-3939. I'm here with my good friend, Rachel Silvacci, who I've known from 2011. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming in, Rachel. Thank you. Good to see you. You too. Rachel, tell us a little bit about what happened to you. So I was riding my bike and I was going across the side street and the car was coming up to stop at a stop sign mm -hmm. and it did not stop, mm -hmm. it hit me. And this is in the city of Buffalo? Yes. And did you come out of work right away? No, I did not. Where were you working at the time? I was at a daycare center. Tell the people out there what, what you thought was gonna happen after this injury. After the injury, I didn't really think that I was gonna have major issues afterwards. And you continued to work and ultimately you did not retain a lawyer right away. Correct. And as it turned out, your injury was in July of 2011. Yes. And then you came to my attention in November of 2012, over a year after your injuries. What inspired you to seek legal counsel at that point? My injuries were getting worse and also I kind of had the hassle of the insurance company coming after me and they were just calling me 24 seven and mm -hmm. you know, trying to get information out of me and trying to say that I didn't injure myself and that I should be fine now and everything else. So at that point, I didn't wanna to have to deal with them anymore and I just wanted to deal with someone who knew what they were doing. And how did you come to my attention? I've been referred before by like family members that have dealt with you before. Um, but I've also just saw most of your commercials and stuff and got it off of that. Could you explain a little bit more to the people out there what happens when you're in an accident and you're injured and then you've got these insurance companies, the, the other person's insurance company, yes. paying the medical bills, supposed to reimburse for you for your wages when you come out of work and ultimately you did come out of work because you had surgery. Yes. So then there was sh there's a wage issue. Mm -hmm. So describe a little bit more about what the frustration was uh, trying to deal with it yourself, at least initially. Initially, I was trying to talk to them and explain to them what happened and they kept telling me that I didn't say this at the time of the injury and that I was making things up and that it's been a year so I should be fine. I only had swelling and a little contusion and bruising so it shouldn't be a big deal. I didn't fracture anything. So they were constantly calling me like at least five or six times a day and hassling me and leaving voicemails and telling me that I needed to get back to them and that they were going to offer me $500 and that's what I should take and basically just trying to get me to take some type of money so that they could be done with it. Ultimately, you had two surgeries. Yes. And ultimately, the result we obtained for you was many, many, many times more than the offer the insurance company made to you. Yes. Why don't you explain how it was when we got involved uh, and how you felt uh, not having to deal with the insurance company then? 
Oh, that was amazing. When I got a hold of you guys and you guys took care of everything, I didn't have to deal with the insurance company anymore. And I knew that I was in good hands and people that I could trust. I had a much better understanding from talking with you guys and just that I knew deep down that you would be able to handle it and you would be able to deal with them. And it was way better with you guys handling it. Well, I appreciate you sure. saying that. And again, people out there, you need to understand that we're here to help you. We like we helped Rachel and the other people that you that you've seen on our presentation here today. We're here. We're at 716-839-3939. I'm Jed Dietrich and we're here to help you. We have 17 legal professionals in the office here. Uh, and our mission statement is to provide the highest level of personal injury service and that's what we attempt to do. Uh, and since you did not have a lawyer at, at first to fight the insurance company, you are in a good position to uh, tell the people out there what it was like to have the peace of mind yes. of having someone fight for you. I just knew that it was going to be taken care of. That was my main concern and it was good to have it done without me having to get hassled about it. Sure. And, and that's what we try to do. We try to take the aggravation with the insurance companies away from you, we'll handle it for you, and then we contact you or we bring in and we sit you down and say, this is where your case is, this is where we think it's gonna go. And with regard to your case, Rachel, again, we worked together for uh, a period of time which required suing the case, and mm -hmm. then we had the deposition and then the preparation for the deposition. So mm -hmm. I prepared you for the deposition in a way that would allow you to feel comfortable. Why don't you explain that to a certain extent if you could? So basically with the deposition, um, we had that here. Yes. And beforehand, it, you kind of like asked questions to get me prepared on what they would ask me right. and not like lead too much into it, but you know, tell what's going on. And that made me more comfortable because I've never been through something like that before. So right. the whole deposition thing was something that I did not think was going to be as in depth, but mm -hmm. you made me understand that, you know, they do ask these questions and sure. you have to answer truthfully. And it goes with our helped. core philosophy, Rachel, mm -hmm. to treat others the way we want to be treated. And mm -hmm. I, I have training sessions in my office, at least on a monthly basis, where I sit down with my whole staff and I say, look, our core philosophy here is to treat others the way we want to be treated, to return every phone call within one business day, and to work hard on behalf of our clients to obtain the best possible results. So that goes with preparing you in the same fashion. If you're prepared, if you know what questions are coming along in the deposition, then you're gonna be more comfortable, you're gonna do a better job, we're gonna get better result for you. And just to go through that briefly for the folks out there in a deposition preparation, we talk about your educational background, we talk about your employment background, then we talk about how the incident occurred, how your injury occurred, and this sounds familiar to mm -hmm. you, I'm sure. Um, and then we talk about the doctors that you've seen, because you gotta rattle off the doctors and we assist you with that refresh your recollection uh, and then I prepare for some questions from the defense attorney that may not be as as comfortable as, as you would like but I prepare you for those so you are more comfortable when they come across the table do you remember that yes. and then after we did the deposition you were examined by the defendant's doctor mm -hmm. uh, and if you could talk a little bit about that well personally they are working for the defendant so they don't really examine you I mean they kind of just are like okay so show me this and I'll touch you here and okay you're fine and then they say okay we're gonna write this in the report and yeah your your you know your leg doesn't really look that bad but you know maybe you'll be 50 percent disabled or something like that and then you get the report and it's completely different from what they yeah. say so what we do is we fight for you when that happens mm -hmm. we send you the report to say look this is what their position is we're going to rebut that with a letter we're mm -hmm. going to rebut it with the insurance company and put your records together in a way that is most appropriate to compulsively push them into understanding what is fair to settle your case. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did along the way. You are in the medical field right now. I'm a medical assistant. And as a medical assistant, what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? I actually work with doctors that deal with injuries like this on a daily basis. So you're dealing with other folks who were victims the way you were, who are injured from someone else's negligence, and you're working with them and talking to them as you go along. Mm -hmm. And what's it like to work with them from your perspective? I think they understand better when they're talking to me because I've been through it before. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to tell them, you know, I've been through this before and this is what happens and I know it's hard right now and it might take some time, but eventually, 
you will get to the point that you need to be at at the end. Correct. Is there anything else about the way we handled the case or your experience that you'd like to tell the folks out there that you think is important? And I just, I love all of you guys and how you just were respectful and on time and always basically at my beck and call, but it was just the whole experience in general was amazing. Thank you so much for saying that. You're a great person to opine concerning this because again, when it occurred, you definitely were not litigious. You mm -hmm. didn't want to go out and get a lawyer right away. Mm -hmm. You waited over a year after your injury and you continued to work before you retained counsel. And you did that because the insurance companies were giving you a hassle, mm -hmm. which happens all the time. The insurance companies are out there not to help you. They're out there to help their stockholders. They want to keep as much money in their pockets as mm -hmm. possible keep as much out of your pocket as possible you need someone to fight for you so you learn that as we went along and then you obtain treatment you required surgery and then we had to sue the case so we went through the whole gamut almost all the way up to trial mm -hmm. and then shortly before the, the the trial scenario we settled the case could you explain that how the interaction went between us with the offers and things like that yeah so basically whenever they offered you something you would let me know and then i would either agree or disagree or you know explain if i thought that maybe we should go for more or something like that but Towards the end of it, like I actually agreed with what they did offer, and I am so thankful that I retained you guys because honestly, what they were going to offer in the beginning compared to what they finally did at the end is a complete difference. And, and I'm so glad you said that. And, and just to highlight that a little further, to talk about it further for people out there, whenever there's an offer made in any case in my office that I handle, we always call you and we also send you a letter. So mm -hmm. there are no questions about this. It's your case. You're the person who makes the decision. We give you a direction and mm -hmm. I like to say, I would recommend this or I don't recommend this. And I only recommend a number if I believe it's a fair number. Mm -hmm. If I don't believe they're offering a fair number, I say we go to trial. Yeah. We prepare every case as if we are going to go to trial because if you don't do that, you're not gonna get the right number. So we take the time to sit down, review your records, talk to you as we go along to determine what's the best approach to obtain maximum compensation on your behalf. So as we went along, there was a first offer, which I think I sent you a letter. I said, this is the first mm -hmm. offer. I don't think it's the final offer. Would you allow me to continue to negotiate? Yes. And you said yes. And then we did that back and forth over a, a longer period of time. And then after the first surgery, we ended up having a second surgery, mm -hmm. which required a renegotiation to a certain extent. And again, there was more back and forth between you and me. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Is there anything else about how you interact with current victims of injuries that helps you tell the folks out there what would be helpful in terms of how they move forward? I explained to them how, you know, I didn't know what was going on. This was my first accident. I had no clue what to expect. Right. So in the beginning, you don't usually retain someone if you haven't been in an accident to begin with. Sure. So a lot of them understand, you know, where I came from at that point, but then when I tell them, you know, th this is what happened, and I went to Judd Dietrich's office, and they were amazing, and they took care of my case completely, and they were, you know, on my side and fought for me, that's someone who you should go for. You shouldn't just go and find an attorney that's, you know, going to say that they're going to offer you something, but technically not really fight for you. And a lot of, you know, patients that I deal with now, they have attorneys that say one thing and then they, you know, sign up with them and then they're not doing what they say that we're going to do. I'm Jed Dietrich and I'm here to help you. Contact me at 716-839-3939. Is there anything else about your interaction with my office that you'd like other people to, to know about? It was just an amazing experience. I mean, honestly, all of you guys are just completely respectful and prompt on time and just getting taking care of everything in general was just a weight off my shoulders i didn't have to deal with the insurance companies hassling me anymore and i knew that it would be in good hands that it was going to be taken care of correctly in the right way thank you so much for saying yeah. that and coming thank in today you. rachel you take care okay you good too. luck thank you i'm jed dietrich the mission statement of my law firm is to provide the highest level of personal injury service to you. Please contact me at 716-839-3939.
3939. I'm Jed Dietrich. Thank you for joining me concerning this presentation on what to do when you're injured through someone else's fault. We're talking to Bill Carter here today. Bill, good to see you. Good to see you again, Jed. Uh, Bill, you and I have known each other for about how many years? Approximately 12 years. 12 years, and you have had a number of injury cases. When I first uh, came into contact with you, uh, tell us about that. Well, I, we actually had called you in regards to a case with me and my wife. We were in the car together and we were hit and then called you. You came right to the house. Step by step, you handled that case with great class and integrity. I appreciate you saying that mm -hmm. when you're involved in an automobile collision, your own insurance company, your no-fault company, pays your medical bills and yeah. reimburses you for your lost wages. But they're like any other insurance company, they don't want to pay. Exactly. You remember along the way with yours, they sent you to their own doctors and things yeah. like that. Let's talk oh, about that. Well, it was very challenging because the doctors, uh, we have our doctors, but the insurance companies have their doctors. Yep. They want to make it inconvenience for you. Well, those, those insurance company doctors, they're paid by the insurance company. They're supposed to be looking at you to be independent, but what they're really doing is they're trying to cut you off your treatment so the insurance company doesn't have to pay any more money for your medical treatment. You're exactly right. Yeah, and you went to those exams. Yes. And we fought for you. So even if those insurance companies create a document, which is a, uh, a medical report saying you can go back to work, or and let's say your doctor says you can't go back to work, we argue that for you. So a lot of people are out there, they may have been in an accident, and they're getting medical bills, they don't know where to go, where to turn. There are strict time limitations involved in an injury case, and you know that, Bill. Our job is to preserve your rights, make sure all those timelines are properly handled, so you don't have to worry. Exactly. We didn't get one bill. You make sure we knew if, in case we forgot, so you got an appointment, you know, your staff is incredible. Thank you so much for saying that about yeah. my staff. Yeah. We have 17 legal professionals in the office here. And what we do is we focus on personal injury law. We focus on helping you through your time of need so you can work on recovering from your injuries. And then, unfortunately, you had another incident. Yeah, it was a hit again. And what happened the second time? Well, the second time, I got hit from behind. More pain and suffering again. It's of like, course. I want to avoid this. But I said, who can I call to help me again? Jed Dietrich. I was able to contact you directly to your cell phone. You called me back. You didn't, you, the calls was always answered. That's so, that's so important, to be able to talk to your attorney. Of course, and, and I handle every case that's in my office. When I handle your case, we get to know each other, yes. and we've known each other quite a bit. But I want everyone to know out there, I give every single one of my clients my cell phone number. So if you're in an accident and you've been injured, contact me at 716-839-3939. What makes my firm stand apart from the rest? Returning every phone call within one business day, treating you the way we want to be treated, and working hard on your behalf to obtain maximum compensation for you. The mission statement of my law firm is to provide the highest level of personal injury service to you. Contact me at 716-839-3939. Here with Bill Carter. Bill and I have known each other for 12 years. I went to Bill's home when he was injured in an automobile collision. He and his wife uh, were both injured. Uh, it was a significant injury such that his wife required a neck surgery. Luckily, she's gotten better. Yes. Um, and then, unfortunately, after that, uh, another collision occurred uh, where you were rear-ended, and I, I've, I've represented you on that. That case, again, is done. And then uh, there was a family member uh, who also had a problem. Uh, Bill, why don't you tell the folks at home about that. Yes, my son, he's, uh, he's in the Army. In fact, when the 9 11 occurred, I said, Son, you can either go to the college or go in the military. He chose to represent the United States. He went in the military, and uh, as he was in his career of, of serving the country, he somehow was hit by a car. Right. And it wasn't his fault. The car it was traumatic. It was down in the ditch. Oh, yeah. And he called me about that. And I said, wow, who can I call in regards to my son? I would only trust Jed Dutrick. And I called you, and you handled that thing. I mean, you handled it. And your son was a pleasure to work with, as you are, Bill. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, in the U.S. Army, still in the still Army. Still in there, two years he graduated. 
representing yeah. the United mm -hmm. States of America. Yes. And uh, just a little little funny story here. Once his case was resolved, we, we handled it in the same way we handled yours. We returned every phone call within one business day. We fought for him like yes. we fought for you and, and your wife. Yes. And the case was resolved, and, and I sent him his check. And, and because he couldn't come in at the time, I didn't shake his hand. But that's fine. I try to shake everybody's hand, especially when you give you your money at the yes. end. Uh, but out of the blue, I get a package with a bunch of uh, things from the U.S. Army. And there were a couple of pens and, and a couple of magnet holders and things like that. And I thought yeah. to myself, that's a real classy thing for Mr. Carter to send me a little package of things showing what he represents and to give me that generosity yes. uh, with regard to handling his case. That was very nice. I, I appreciated him doing that for me. He talked so highly of you. He was so impressed. He was happy. He was a dad. He's just, Mr. Mr. Dietrich. He, he took care of me, he took care of me and my family. That meant a lot. That means a lot, America. So know that you could trust this man in all your, on all your situation. He actually does what he said he's gonna do, above and beyond. So I, I recommend you, this attorney you want to be with, really. Well, I appreciate you saying that. And my personal philosophy is I'm a competitive person by nature. I just want to win on your behalf and for myself, too, and the way the arrangement works. And everybody kind of knows this, but I'll just say it again. Uh, our fee is a third. We get paid when you get paid. The more we get you, the more I get for my firm and to support my family. So we're trying to do what we can, everything we can, to get you the best possible result. And as we go through that, we want to try to make life easier for you as we go through. Yeah, you're a real fighter, yeah. real, real fighter. Thank you, Bill. Please I appreciate sir. your time. Pleasure to see you and talking to care. you, Jed. Okay. All right, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for joining my special guests and me. I hope you've learned something. If I can ever be of service to you, please contact me at 716-839. 3939. Listen, well, so who can I call to help me again? Jed Dietrich. Contact Jed. Oh, that was amazing. When I got a hold of you guys and you guys took care of everything. Contact Jed. He was the only one who handled the situation before. It was almost like I felt led to reach out to you. It was almost like I felt led to reach out to you. Contact Jed. And I called you and you handled that thing. I mean, you handled it. I calmed right down because you explained everything. You came right to the house. You guys took that load off of me. What I didn't know, you guys filled me in. I knew that I was in good hands and people that I could trust. Contact Jed. When you're suffering, to know someone is there for you. That means a lot, Jed. It made me feel comfortable that all I had to do was focus on my recovery. Contact Jed. You stand by your word. It just felt right. I didn't have to deal with the insurance company anymore. Putting yourselves in my shoes, and I, and I really appreciated that. That means a lot, Jed. I just knew that it was gonna be taken care of. Contact Jed. Yeah, you're a real fighter. The whole experience in general was amazing. It was superb. A weight off my shoulders. Contact Jed. Above and beyond. That's someone who you should go for. I would only trust Jed Dutrick. Contact Jed.